Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the next episode in my Inside and Organizer's Mind. Uh, how I'm organizing, why I organize a certain way. And this product in this video is going to be powders, okay? Specifically face powders. Um, I had to say specifically face powders. Powder eyeshadow, I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is going to be powders. I have a lot of powders, just like I have a lot of foundations and a lot of everything. And there is a specific way that I organize these for specific reasons, as you guys have could tell from the theme of the series. And yeah, I hope you guys um, have been sticking along with me, and I'm glad you guys don't think I'm too crazy yet. Alright, so I keep my powders in um, an Alex drawer, my bottom, I have the wide six drawer Alex, and I keep them in the bottom one, the one that faces me, when I'm sitting here filming videos, that's just the one it is, it's in the bottom. The reason why it is in the bottom, because if you have the Alex six drawer, the wide unit, the bottom three drawers are the deepest, they're deeper than the top three drawers, and some powders can be bulky, and the way I store my powders, they're not flat, they're on their sides, so I need, and some of them are a little taller, so so that's why I chose a larger drawer for this situation. Um, yeah, that's why I chose a larger drawer for this situation for that very reason. Um, I also, so unlike if you watch my foundation theme video, I don't sort my foundations the way I sit down and think about makeup in the morning. So when I sit down and think about makeup, I'm like, huh. I want a full coverage today. I want a light coverage today. But my, my foundations aren't sorted by necessarily full coverage or light coverage. They're sorted by like favorites and different things like that. However, my powders are sorted based on how I think. Huh, I want just concealer and powder on today. I want powder foundation or I'm going to use a loose powder or I want a soft photo finish pop. Like I think like that when I'm deciding what powder to use. Um, <laughs> and so these are organized the way I think. Um, and also for purpose, but here we go. You guys ready? Let's jump into the powders. So I just need to say before we jump into these powders, do not judge my floor. If you see it, I need to vacuum. I just bought a new vacuum this weekend, and after I filmed today, I am so excited to vacuum. How, how old am I? But anyway, don't judge my floor. Okay. This is my sixth drawer unit that needs to be wiped down with Clorox. It's cleaning day. <laughs> um, and this bottom drawer houses my powders. Okay, give you a shot of that. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. So they are sorted by type of powder um, because that's how I think about powder, you know. So what we have here. On this side, this first area, are all my powder foundations. Powder foundation, that can be worn alone, um, or like just, you know, you dab on concealer, but that can be worn alone and give me decent coverage as a foundation. I do not have to put these over liquid. I still might, but I do not have to. These are like standalone, my powders that I can wear alone without a foundation underneath and I still get my coverage. Um, yeah, so dual matte cover effects. Next, I have a couple powders because I do not like it. Takes I hit pan, I will use the edges of that pan until I run out. As you can see from my uh makeup forever duo matte, oh, this is a bomb powder, it's almost gone. But wait, let's see if we can. Yeah, it's a bomb powder. <laughs> I have a replacement ready to go that I've dipped into, but I'm not. Not getting rid of it yet. Um, Sephora. I have two different Sephora powders. Bare Minerals. Things like that. This is a really, really nice powder foundation. The Blemish Remedy. Alright, and then... Um, and this is a matte powder foundation from Bare Minerals. This is the only loose powder that's not over here. Because these loose powders in my collection... These are all of my loose setting powders, okay? That are not necessarily, not powder foundations. They just set my makeup. Um, yeah, so these are, and this is for, for my whole face. So this is the Makeup Forever, um, Super Matte. I have Laura Mercier, Black Opal, Amon. These are the Maybelline Fit Me's. Um, I have a few shades of these because like, just in case I wanna bake with it, under eye area however they do well at adjusting like if your tone of your liquid foundation is off so that's why I have those there 
All right. And then in this row, we have all of my setting powders. Like these can be worn over a powder foundation, but it's going to give me, I mean, over a liquid foundation, it's going to give me more coverage and all that. These are just specifically setting powders to set my powder foundation. Um, yeah, to set my foundation. I wouldn't wear them alone. I wouldn't wear them alone or just with some concealer because they, they need a little bit more help, but they do well at setting liquid foundations, and that's what I use these for. So Iman, Bare Minerals, not Bare Minerals, BH Cosmetics, Maybelline. You guys get the point. All right, and then this is my soft... Oh, my God, I can't, like... Photoshop powders, just like that soft glow, not necessarily glowy, but just like that's, I can't find another word except soft airbrushed powders. These powders don't always look well over all types of foundation, but they're like these, let's see, this is called the Laura Mercier Sheer Perfecting Powder, Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder, I can't explain it. MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, just gives that beautiful finish to the skin. And these are the NYX No Filter Powders. They're really lightweight powders. They don't provide any um, add on any coverage, but they just adjust the tone and make the texture of your your uh, makeup look really nice. And I separate those out. If I'm wearing a really heavy foundation or a foundation that like just doesn't look complete, doesn't look um, finished on the face for some reason, could just be that look that day. These really bring the look together and make the skin look really beautiful. Uh, these are my Black Radiance powders, and the reason why they're in this section um, is because they are big, and they would really go in the setting powder. This would really go in the setting powder. However, it's just really big. Now, if you go over to here, these are specialty setting powders. So right in this drawer, this first little compartment, I have all of my yellow or my warm powders that I wouldn't use all over the face, but I would set my under eye with. Okay, that's what these are to set the under eye. Again, minus the Black Radiance one because it's too big. But these are the ones to set the under eye. This is my MAC Studio Fix. It's a nice yellow warm powder. Okay. And these are all of my loose baking powders. Um, yeah. So we have uh, Absolute New York, the big black radiance one, Sasha Buttercup, Makeup Revolution. My Ben Eye Banana is now in my kit, but that's where it would go. I have a little bit of it here. So that's what this is for. You know? Get it? And then this section is all of my color correcting powders. I don't know if you know color correcting powders exist. One of my favorite ones is the City Color CC powder. Um, oh, in the orange shade, in whatever. It's loose powder. I don't know the, it does have a shade name. I set my color correcting. When I color correct, if I put on foundation with this powder, it's really good. I got this set. I don't even remember where I got the set of those. And then I have two e.l.f. tinted color correcting powders back there. And that's how I sort them. So I do think about, and I have a palette that I don't use as much back here. I just have it there uh, for reference purposes. Uh, yeah. I do, like, this is how I think with powders. I sit down, I'm like, alright, do I want even want to wear liquid today? Do I want to wear powder foundation? Alright, well I'm wearing, okay, boom. Or I'm wearing liquid foundation today. What do I want to set it with? What kind of finish am I looking for? Uh, the liquid powder, you know, if it's super, super full coverage, I'll probably go to this row. If it's super, super full coverage, um, but the finish, like, it's, it's, it's just, I don't know, I'll probably go to this row. I do always set every foundation with powder just for security purposes. <laughs> um, if it needs a little help, I got, that's what they're there for. Under eye area right here. And that's what they're there for. And that's how I organize my powders. Yeah. So thanks you guys for hanging out with that for me for that video. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. I love you all and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.